I didn't know if it matters with my voice here. All right, um, uh, really just super proud of our team. Uh, you know, new coming up here, Louisville, Louisville is, uh, man, they are on a great path. I uh, cannot say enough about Coach Satterfield and uh, his staff and what they're building here. Uh, you know, very easy to see on tape uh, the type of fight that this team was going to have. Uh, and uh, so give them a lot of credit. They really played us tough. We knew we knew it was a game we were going to have to eventually knock them out because they were not going to give up. And uh, you saw that in all their games that they played. And, and eventually that's what happened. We were able to take the game over. And, uh, and the biggest disappointment was the first quarter. Uh, we left a lot of points on the on the on the field. Uh, had a lot of offense at halftime, but didn't have the production on the board. Uh, just missed some throws, uh, but uh, finished up with. You know, 551, rushed the ball for right at 300 yards. Uh, Travis Etienne, I mean, back-to-back uh, weeks, just outstanding, 192 yards rushing. Uh, but to me, you know, the, I'm just really proud of Trevor. Uh, he, he was about as bad in the first quarter as you could be. Three for seven, two interceptions, and I don't know, maybe nine yards or something. I mean, just like, like I, I think that's like negative, negative, negative in whatever your rating is. and. Uh, but, you know, he comes back and finishes 20 of 29, three touchdowns, and that's what great players do. I mean, and uh, just, I love that. You know, it's all about how you respond. And, and he, he was disappointed. I mean, he just tried to do too much, trying to, they're dropping all the coverage, and he's, you know, they, they picked just two bad interceptions. Uh, and then he missed JC on the one that probably would have scored uh, a little high. And then we ran the bootleg in the second half. And should have checked. It should, should have hit Luke. Uh, and uh, so he really had four plays that were bad plays in the game. Um, but outside of that, wow, uh, he ran the ball well. He showed great leadership. And you know we're growing through some a little adversity with it. You know you win the game forty whatever to ten. You think oh what kind of adversity? But there was plenty of adversity, plenty of challenges in a, in that game. And that's a four quarter game. And so I'm just proud of our guys and how they responded. It's really proud of Trevor uh, and, and how he responded because, again, he finished up exceptionally well. Uh, I think six different guys scored touchdowns. Our offensive line was awesome. Uh, they took it over up front. I think we did have, end up with one sack, but really did a great job. Uh, defensively, uh, this bunch had been coming in about 489, 490 yards a game. And we held them to 263, and they rushed the ball for about 200 on just about everybody. So, uh, super proud of our defense. Uh, Xavier Thomas out today. That was a big loss for us. Justin Foster steps up, three and a half tackles for loss, two sacks, caused interception. Uh, just really, really proud of him. Uh, Isaiah had a sack. Chad had a, sm uh, a sack, and uh, Tyler Davis had a sack. But the biggest thing was the three turnovers, two interceptions, and the. Uh, fumble, and then uh, uh, six sacks. So we, we really controlled the line of scrimmages on both sides. They, but but they're, they, they got a really good – they were like 16th in the country in offense coming in. They can score. They got a great scheme. They did get outside of us a few too many times. But just really proud of our defense. We had a stop on downs and uh, just, uh, you know, great, great job. But to me, our special teams, uh, I mean, just super proud of our special teams. Our kickoff return, uh, Joseph Ngata. He has really uh, done a great job for us. We, we needed to get a little something going on punt return, and we were able to spark a couple of uh, uh, plays there and, and, and just, you know, get a first down and just create something positive there. I know we did have the, the one uh, muff ball by DK, but and great effort by Ngata in recovering that ball. But um, super, super proud there. And then, and then uh, uh, Potter, you know, how about old Potter? Uh, he's had a tough week. and. Uh, uh, so, you know, everybody uh, everybody needs a little sugar every now and then. And uh, he, he's uh, really proud of it. And it's just his mindset. And again, that's why sometimes we all need our butts kicked every now and then uh, to just kind of refocus a little bit. And it was great to see him go out there. And he wasn't going out there. He went out there mad. He went out there to nail it, and he did. And uh, it was just awesome, no doubt. And just his mindset. So really proud of him. And, and uh you know, it's just, it's just kind of cool uh, to see him respond the way he did. And, you know, hopefully that will get him uh, back on track. But really proud of our team. They, we, we were ready to play. 
Uh, guys are hungry. And we were focused. Last time we were on the road, I didn't like our focus. I thought North Carolina was was more eager to win the game than we were. Uh, that was not the case today. These guys were focused. Unbelievable effort. They were passionate about winning. Uh, again, that don't mean that you don't make some mistakes. We had a few mistakes, but but just just their focus and mindset was really really good, and that's that's good to see back to back weeks uh, like that. So. Uh, Another big division game this week, you know, trying to just keep it going. Uh, Boston College coming in here next week, and uh, we'll, be, we'll be ready for that. But really proud of our team and uh, something we can learn from. Disappointed in Booth. That's that really disappointing. That's not who we are, uh, and that's not who he is. Uh, the one thing I can say about Andrew Booth is, is he, he's one of the best young people from an unbelievable family. And if you'd have asked me, if you'd have, if you'd have had, if I'd have had to list, you know, one through 100 who, who most likely to uh, do something like that, he'd have been at the bottom of the list. Uh, so just kind of uh, really disappointed there. But, you know, there'll be some consequences involved with that. Uh, but uh, apologize to, to Coach Satterfield and Louisville. That's just, that's not acceptable uh, behavior at all. And, uh, but he'll learn from it. And, and again, it's not indicative of, of who he is either. But, um, a heck of a game and a great day, beautiful day. Uh, so we're excited to get the win and head back home for the next couple of weeks in the Valley. Yeah, but what does it say about Trevor's uh, ability to just kind of forget that last play and move on like yeah. he did in that second quarter? Well, I mean, you're not going to be a great quarterback if you can't do that. Because uh, when you play that position, you, you're going to have some, you know. I mean, I watched Brett Favre in his last ever game. Now, Brett Favre is one of my all-time favorite players. In his last ever game, trying to go to the Super Bowl. And he rolls to the right, and he's played for 42 years. And, he, and what did he do? He throws across his body. I think I'm right, right? Yeah. yeah. And the ball gets picked. And, and he knows he ain't supposed to do that. He's played a million years. You know, but he was Brett Favre his whole career uh, because he was mentally tough. And, uh, you know, because when you play that position, you're going to get judged on how your uniform looks. You're going to get judged on everything that you do. So there's a certain mental toughness and thick skin and, and the ability to, you know, that windshield mentality to look, look forward, you know, just let it go. Because I've been around players in the, in the past that, you know, one, one bad play is going to lead to five more. Uh, you just count on it, like clockwork. Uh, but I, I'm really proud of him because he <laughs> – and there's really nothing to say. Oh, he just made two terrible decisions. They're dropping everybody. I mean, the guys are – I mean, he just got to check the ball down, and uh, he knows that. But sometimes I think he's a little too confident in not only his arm but his his receivers. Um, but you know, he, he's it's all about how you respond. I mean, we can sit around us, we can sit around and focus on them four. He had four bad plays. I don't know how many plays we had in the game, but he had four bad plays. I and mean, we can sit around and focus on that, or we can focus on all them good plays. Uh, and that's what I choose to focus on. We'll learn from that. But man, uh, what a what a what a job he did, uh, you know, for, for the next three quarters or whatever. I mean, just awesome. Uh, got rid of him and, and uh, ran the ball, ran the ball tough, uh, made good decisions and, uh, you know, really got a lot of people involved. Had a bunch of guys touch the ball. So, really proud of him. You said there wasn't much to say. Did you say anything to him about those throws? Just yeah, it's stupid. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? There's just no explanation. I mean, just – just bad. That was just bad, bad football. I mean, what did they say to Brett Favre when he came off the field and, and he thrown it? What do you say to Brett Favre? Like, you don't have to say anything because they know. Like, oh my gosh, what was that? You know, just trying to do too much. And literally, uh, you know, when they're intercepting it from behind you because <laughs> they're so deep and you're throwing down the field, uh, just you know, you got to you got to take what they're giving. And uh, he, he 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 came back and did a great job. With yeah, just just don't. I want to know what were you thinking, and then uh, and then I listen. I was just well, that's stupid. No, that's not. That's like the worst football ever. All right, well, let's go to the next play. And uh, so, uh, just tell them the truth. Really, nothing, nothing else, nothing more you could say. After it felt like you missed the, the field goal, Potter came back in for extra points. Is that just rewarding Potter for the for the good play? Or? Yeah, I mean, just you know, it's a we're it's it's a. Short-term contract. Uh, it's just it's what it is, man. I mean, it's you know. I mean, it was a bad kick, you know. So Wicky didn't. He just had a he had a bad extra point, 
the first extra point was not good. And then, uh, and then that just a bad swing at it. And he's been really solid, but you know, so uh, just threw Potter back in there. And we just keep on rolling, keep on rolling. So some of these people ask some questions about your defensive line going into the season. What can you say about Venables and the job he's done with the defense through seven games? Yeah, he's done an awesome job. Brent always does a good job, but it's just the whole staff. I mean, you know, Ski and Todd, you know, Brent would be the first one to say, uh, man, what a great job those guys do. I mean, they do an awesome job. Brent, Brent, uh, nobody works harder. Uh, just an amazing uh, preparer every week, and just so passionate about it. But, but man, our staff it just is is awesome. Mickey and Ski and Todd and Brent, they work real. And then our support group around and our GAs, those guys, those guys do an awesome job in our in our game prep every single week uh, to put a good plan together. Uh, but you know, we've recruited well. And, uh, you know, guys step up. And, again, that's one of those reasons, too, that we try to play guys as much as we can. I mean, you know, Justin Foster got a lot of experience last year. You know, nobody really knew much about Justin Foster. But it's start, he's starting to kind of hit a stride a little bit. Xavier got a lot of experience. He's had some really good moments. Obviously, he was out today. Um, and uh, I think KJ benefited from the fact that he was able to play four games last year and then get his butt in the weight room. And you just see him emerging. Uh, same thing with Logan, those backers. So it's just, uh, it's been good. But our back seven, everything starts with our back seven. Uh, that group, DK got a little turf toe. Uh, so he had, to, he, he came out and Mario stepped up. You know, Mario went in there and, and made some really nice plays. And, uh, but uh, you know, our back seven has been tremendous and very consistent, uh, you know, all year. How important was it catch by Justin right before the half to make it a two score game? <laughs> you know what? You just sometimes guys make plays, and uh, Trevor was trying to throw it to where only his guy could catch it. So it was either going to be a great catch or it was out of bounds, and uh, that was really what his thought process was. And I don't know how long he hung in the air, but you know he was the slam dunk champ in uh, Alabama, and I think he got every ounce of that. It was amazing. What an amazing play! You know what? Sometimes that's that's what great players do. They just they make plays, and uh, that was two great players trying to make a play. And so it was good to say, what was that, like a minute 12 or something? Uh, two minute drive, one time out. That's our, that's Wednesday practice for us. Every Wednesday, two minute drill and change it up. Uh, so a minute 12, one time out. Uh, just trying to come away with points right there. Uh, that was big. That was a big, big, big momentum swing for us. Shadow, how important is it when, for the team when, when Trevor has a tough start like that? They have so much belief and confidence in him. They've seen him do it so many times on so many big stages. Yeah. You know, people forget that Deshaun Watson threw 17 interceptions his, his junior year, 13 the year before that. Uh, so, you know, you just keep swinging. And, uh, and that's what I did tell him. I was like, hey, man, you know, I heard Kobe Bryant say one time, I'll go 0 for 30 before I go for 12. You know, like, like I'm making the next one. And, and just the mindset. And, uh, and, and, and Trevor has that. Deshaun had that. Sean was the same way. You know, I mean, Deshaun made some bad plays too. But how did he respond? You know, he, he always is going to go make the next play. And that's how Trevor is. He's the same. He's the exact same. He don't go in a shell. He don't pout. You know, uh, he just responds. And he's not a no, – nobody plays a perfect game. And uh, the best of the best of the best of the best in the world uh, will make some bad plays from time to time. But, again, he had four bad plays. Uh, outside of that, I, I don't know of another bad play in that game. Now, they were bad. Uh, again, two of them were awful. Uh, but, the, you know, the, the, the second and nine on the, on the boot, when he tried to hit, he hit T, but T was out of bounds because he, he held the ball a little. And instead of just, you know, he's got Luke. Like, to just take the layup. And, uh, and we're rolling right there. Um, so just, just, a, just a few plays, but, man, he made some big ones. Big runs, tough runs, uh, and just great. You know, a lot of guys, they, they believe in Trevor big time. So... There's no issue there. I think Bitter. John Simpson, um, Travis, Xavier, Kelly, if you guys got banged up, give me an update. Uh, Xavier was, was, was his shoulder, but I haven't got any updates yet. All those other guys, you know, Isaiah went back in there. And Travis could have gone back in. Uh, and then uh, who else was it? John. Uh, John Simpson. was going to He's going to be all right. He'll be all right. And Amari. Amari's all right. Yeah, everybody's all right. Yeah, but a guy that touched the ball like four times a day, but he had a 40-yard kickoff return to start the second half, the fumble recovery, and, of course, the big touchdown. Could you just 
expand a little bit on what he did with his opportunities. Today. He took advantage of them, and uh, that was a great throw by Trevor. I mean, what a great throw. Uh, back in the end zone, that's exactly how the play's designed. It's exactly how you draw it up. Uh, that's why he's in that position. I mean, it's a, it's a basically you get it or nobody gets it type of ball, uh, tiptoeing on the back line. And uh, <laughs> God, I just went and got He's going to be a great player. Uh, but he's, he's really helping our team in a lot of ways. Uh, he's, he's an unbelievable effort guy. He's a very conscientious kid. Uh, so it's good to see him uh, make a huge, huge play. That was – I think it was, it was third down. It was third, I guess, third long down there. And, and uh, just a great throw and a great protection to let the play develop. And uh, just a huge finish. But he had a big game. And then his returns, he was close on that one. But he's, uh, when he's had his opportunities, he's been incredibly productive for us. So uh, very, we thought we'd get a couple opportunities. And, and let me say something about Potter, too. Uh, if you really chart how many people have scored on us from – you know, starting on the, uh, you know, backed up after he's kicked it out of out of out of the end zone. It, it, it I mean, maybe we've given up one touchdown. I don't know. Bray probably know, but not many. Uh, that field position is critical, and so um, you know, just super proud. And and when we've had to cover, we've been done really good. Today, we, I was really disappointed with that one. They got the big return on, it, and then they gave them momentum, and they went down and ended up getting the field goal. Um, but, man, Potter has been a weapon kicking off. You don't realize how big that is. Uh, and their guy just couldn't quite, you know, get him out as consistently. And so we felt like we'd get some opportunity, and, uh, and we took advantage of it. Their best drive was Conley's first drive. Um, was there any adjustment that you guys had to make um, with them with little switching quarterbacks and, and then bringing Conley in? No. No. To be honest with you, I didn't even pay attention to who was that quarterback. Uh, just, I was just watching the structure and what they're doing. And, but, uh, no, he, he, they ran the same offense. Do what they do. They built to run the ball. Uh, we, got, we were able to get some pressure on him. That's probably the biggest difference. Mm -hmm. You know, threes, threes are, uh, he's an escape artist. He can, he can, he can get out of the way. Uh, and uh, just, just uh, not that six can't run. Because he can, he, you just saw you saw him have run for a big one against weight, but but uh, three just is uh, he's pretty special when it comes to escaping the pressure. And and six made some plays. Six got outside of us a few times, and, and we we had him we had him dead rights a couple times, and we didn't stay on the upfield shoulder. Uh, but to me, that's probably the biggest difference uh, is just when we brought pressure. Uh, I thought we were able to really affect it.